Villain, with God-tier choices, I suppress the protagonist. Chapter 36 System Emperor Luo Chen stood in front of the raw stone stall and said. Zhao Ruoswang asked, aren't you going to take a look? There seem to be a few more raw stone stalls in front. No, let's check out this one. The other stall had too few stones, so Luo Chen decided to buy from here. Yi Bei snorted disdainfully from behind. According to his understanding of jade, most of the raw stones in this shop were from Burma. Although Burma raw stones could indeed produce top-notch jade like ice or glass types. The probability of getting them was still too low. Most of them were ordinary green jade. It was already considered a blessing to be able to pick out a low-grade jade occasionally. All right, which one do you want to buy? Zhao Ruoswan did not understand this either. She felt that all the stones looked the same. I've never been very lucky. Why don't you help me choose a few first? Luo Chen said with a smile. Then, he quietly stuck the good luck charm on Zhao Ruoswang's back. The charm would disappear after being stuck on, so no one would notice it at all. Me? I definitely can't. When Zhao Ruoswang heard this, she hurriedly waved her hand to refuse. It was fine if it was investing in other things, but she really knew nothing about stone gambling. She was worried that she would buy an ordinary one or that there would be no jade inside. Luo Chen comforted her. Ruo Swang, believe in yourself. It's just a game. Don't be nervous. Choose whatever you like. Hearing this, Zhao Ruo Swang was a little stunned. She was not stunned because Luo Chen called her Ruo Swang. It was the words he had said. She did not seem to have the right to make any choices when she was young. When she was young, her parents only gave her the option to study. When she grew up, her only choice was to find a job. Now that she was in the investment industry, she found it even more difficult to make choices according to her heart. Because once the investment failed, the entire company would question her. Most of the time, people only asked her how she would choose. Only Luo Chen asked her to choose whatever she liked. Thinking of this, Zhao Ruo Swang's eyes could not help but turn red. At the same time, she had an inexplicably good impression of Luo Chen. She had never had such a feeling since she was young. What's wrong with you? Seeing that Zhao Ruo Swang seemed to be a little depressed, Luo Chen asked. It's nothing. Will you blame me if I fail to choose the right ones? Zhao Ruo Swang asked carefully. Luo Chen's eyes were filled with trust. It's impossible for you to choose wrongly. The ones you like must be good. What a joke. If she could even choose a bad stone, wouldn't that be a slap to the system emperor's face? Looking at the trust in the other party's eyes, Zhao Ruo Swang felt her heart beat faster. She hurriedly focused her gaze on the raw stone stall. Little sister, is there any stone you like? Buy anything and I'll open it for you on the spot. Hu Cheng said generously. He was very confident in his batch. Yes. I want that one. Zhao Ruo Swang looked at it for a long time and did not know what to choose. She pointed at one which looked more pleasing to the eye. This raw stone was about the length of an arm and about the width of a computer screen. The surface of the raw stone was filled with potholes. It looked a little like a meteorite. Yi Bei raised his eyebrows when he saw the stone. Usually, it was impossible to get good jade from this kind of raw stone. Moreover, most of the time, there wouldn't even be a hint of green jade inside. Ha ha! As expected of the woman I like. Now, she's also joined me in digging a pit for Luo Chen. Hu Cheng looked a little embarrassed when he saw this raw stone. It was unknown which dog had thrown such a piece of trash on the truck. The person who picked up the goods was also brainless. He even accepted this kind of trash. He would definitely teach him a lesson when he returned. If there was nothing inside after opening it, wouldn't that be ruining his reputation? At the thought of this, Hu Cheng directly asked for an exorbitant price. I don't want much for this raw stone. Two million. Those who knew a little knew that it was definitely not worth two million yuan. Therefore, he wanted to use another method to persuade her to leave. After all, in this line of work, he could never admit that his goods were not good. It was a taboo. Two million? Zhao Ruo Swang was shocked by this price. No wonder everyone advised them not to gamble on stones. Was such a small thing worth two million yuan? 
Chi looked at Luo Chen. Why don't you choose? I'm too nervous. Zhao Ruoswang still could not accept that two million yuan might be wasted because of her. Luo Chen continued to comfort her. Don't. Just buy it. Trust yourself. This raw stone was big enough. Coupled with a good luck charm, he would definitely make a huge profit this time. Behind him, Yi Bei was also a little anxious. Buy it, President Zhao. Boss Luo doesn't lack money at all. If we can't win this time, we will stay till we do. In addition to urging Zhao Ruoswang, Yi Bei also provoked Luo Chen's pride. He had already said it out loud. If Luo Chen could not get the jade, would a dignified young master of the Luo family still have the cheek to leave? Zhao Ruoswang said coldly, Yi Bei, can you talk less? It's not your money you're spending so of course your heart won't ache. This. I. Yi Bei was so angry that he couldn't speak. He did not expect Zhao Ruoswang to be so protective of Luo Chen. What was so good about him for her to protect? All right, all right, stop arguing. Since Ruoswang has taken a fancy to this raw stone at first glance, let's buy it. Luo Chen could not wait to earn money. With that, he swiped his card to pay. Those who sold raw stones usually had POS machines. After all, every deal was not a small sum. Hu Cheng was dumbfounded. The money had already been transferred to his account, so he had no choice but to sell it. De Mao, take this raw stone and cut it. Hu Cheng said to a muscular man. All right. De Mao spoke in a muffled voice. He crossed his arms and placed the raw stone on the cutting machine. At this moment, Zhao Ruoswang looked nervous. Yi Bei and Luo Chen were both looking forward to it. One looked forward to how much they would lose, and the other looked forward to how much they would earn. Yo, boss who sold another one. Then I have to take a look. Boss whose goods are not bad. If they can get some high-grade jade like the last two people, I'll buy a piece too. There were many people selling and buying jade here. Hu Cheng was also very famous in this area. Therefore, as soon as he sold a stone, more than ten people came to join in the fun. But soon, someone realized that something was wrong. Eh? Why are there so many bumps on the outside of this raw stone? It's obvious that it should not be up for sale? A trash material? That can't be. I heard that they bought it for two million just now. Oh. Boss who, don't tell me you're scamming outsiders now? Although you can scam people, you can't be so ruthless, right? A few experts stood at the side and spoke out for justice. At this moment, Fu Cheng's face was filled with embarrassment. With the money in hand, there was no way to return the goods. This was also the rule. He did not expect Luo Chen to pay so quickly. I didn't cheat him. My name, Fu Cheng, is guarantee enough. I'll never cheat anyone. Even though the situation was embarrassing, Fu Cheng could not relent in the face of so many people. If there was really no jade inside, he could just change his name and sell raw stones in another city. It's over, Luo Chen. I think I've gotten into trouble. Villain, with God-tier choices, I suppressed the protagonist. Chapter 37 Imperial Jade When Zhao Ruoswang heard the people around her say that this raw stone was not good, she became even more nervous. It's fine. Why should we listen to them? Luo Chen did not care about them. This was because no matter which raw stone Zhao Ruoswang took, high-grade jade would appear. After placing the raw stone on the cutting machine, De Mao slowly pushed it towards the stone cutter. Buzz. After a burst of noise, a thin piece of the raw stone fell off, revealing the material inside. Because he did not cut much, they could only see a faint green color. Fuck. It has green inside? Although the quality doesn't look good, it's already rare for this junk material to produce green jade. It looks like the jade is white with a green background. Spending two million for a lousy jade worth tens of thousands is a huge loss. The onlookers were in disbelief when they saw the green. After all, most of these raw stones had nothing inside. Hu Cheng's worried heart finally relaxed when he saw the green color. Although the quality was not good, Fortunately, his signboard was not smashed. The moment Zhao Ruoswang saw the green color, she was still very happy. Although the surrounding people said that it was not worth much, it was at least better than nothing. 
Beside her, Yibei felt a little flustered. Such a lousy material could actually produce green. Could it be a kind of legendary raw stone? He hoped that the color of the jade would not change after it was uncovered. Are we still cutting? Hu Cheng asked according to the rules. He felt that this was enough. After all, if he cut it again, there might be nothing left to show. Cutting further might even destroy the current jade. At that time, it would not be worth a single cent. Luo Chen nodded. This is nothing. Continue cutting. You want me to settle with a material only worth tens of thousands of yuan? That would be looking down on the system too much. All right, Demao, continue. Hu Cheng nodded and continued to instruct. Beside him, the Mao nodded and pushed the raw stone towards the stone cutter again. Buzz. There was another noise, a deeper shade of jade was revealed. When the surrounding people saw this scene, they began to become restless. Oh? Is that green ink jade? It is very valuable and it's worth hundreds of thousands at least. Boss whose goods are really incomprehensible. This kind of lousy material can even produce green ink jade. Little brother, are you selling this jade? I'll buy it for six hundred thousand. At this moment, more and more people were watching the commotion. After all, it was rare to see jade worth hundreds of thousands. At the same time, someone had offered to buy this jade from Luo Chen. Most of the people who came here were jade shop owners or collectors. Other than buying raw stones themselves, they would also buy good jade at a slightly higher price when they saw others obtain good jade. Luo Chen, why don't we sell it now? That way, we can cut our losses. Zhao Ruoswang said impatiently. She thought that the green ink jade was already the best result. Meanwhile, Yibei sighed slightly. What was the point of losing just a million yuan? However, Luo Chen still shook his head. No, boss, continue cutting. Hundreds of thousands? This was nothing. Still want me to cut? All right. With that, Hu Cheng waved his hand, and Amao repeated his previous actions. Buzz. The noise came, and more of the jade was revealed, showing a deeper color. Being green. It's actually being green. Little brother. There's no need to talk anymore. I'll pay a million yuan for you to sell it to me. Shameless. I can offer you 1.6 million directly. The surrounding people were instantly excited when they saw the being green jade. This kind of jade was relatively rare. The reason why someone offered a high price was because it was rare. If one missed it, they did not know when they would encounter another one. Luo Chen. Zhao Ruoswang smiled. If it was only a loss of 400,000 yuan, she could accept it. There's no hurry. Keep cutting. Luo Chen smiled. With a noisy sound, the color of the jade became even deeper. A flower green jade. I'll pay 2 million. I'll pay 2.3 million. Little brother, sell it to me. All of you, shut up for this daddy. I'll pay 3 million directly. The flower green jade looked graceful and luxurious. With a little processing, it could appear in a luxury shop. Although it had been cut a few times, the raw stone was still very big and could be used to make many handicrafts. 3 million. We've made a profit. Now, Zhao Ruoswang was even happier than when her investments turned a profit. Yi Bei's brows were almost furrowed together. Watching Luo Chen earn money was even worse than losing money himself. Luo Chen continued, Cut. Buzz. With another round of cutting, the emerald color deepened. Aqua green jade. I bid six million. If you can't afford it, get lost. I'll pay eight million. I'll pay ten million. This aqua green jade is mine. As everyone kept shouting the price, more and more people came to watch the show. The street where Luo Chen was standing was filled with the most number of people. Aqua green jade were considered the Ferraris of the jade world. They were very rare. Luo Chen continued, continue cutting. Hearing this, Yi Bei gritted his teeth so hard that they almost shattered. He was really afraid that the grade of the jade would rise. With another cut, the color of the jade deepened again, and at the same time, it emitted a faint golden light. Gold. Gold silk? I actually saw a golden silk jade here. I'll pay 12 million. I'll give you 15 million. Plus two houses in Jiang City. 
this daddy will risk everything. The value of the gold and silk jade was practically priceless. As long as they obtained it, even if they did not sell it, it would be a huge profit. Fuck. Yi Bei felt his vision go dark, and he found it difficult to breathe. Continue cutting. Luo Chen was still not satisfied. At this moment, Hu Cheng was all smiles. Although the jade belonged to Luo Chen, the reputation was still his. After today, his reputation would probably spread throughout Jiang City. All right. With a shout, De Mao pushed it again. After this cut, the color of the jade became extremely deep. It was dark green and emitted a faint golden light, giving off an incomparable aura. Imperial jade. It's imperial jade. I'll fucking offer 20 million. 30 million. As long as you sell it to me, I'll pay now. I'll give you 34 million. Brother, I beg you to sell it to me. I'm going all out. 38 million. I don't even want my cars and houses anymore. Let's see who can compete with me. As soon as the Imperial Jade appeared, the entire venue instantly erupted with fanaticism. Even if they bought this piece of jade, they would not sell it. Instead, they would pass it down as the treasure of their shop. The existence of the Imperial Jade in the Jade world was not inferior to owning a nuclear bomb. Fuck this. Yi Bei really wanted to rush over and smash the Imperial Jade. 38 million. It was only 2 million when they bought it and now they could earn 36 million? Wasn't this asking for his life? At this moment, Zhao Ruoswan did not know what to say. Even if she invested in a company, there might not be so much returns. TSK, is this the limit? Luo Chen also knew that there would not be an existence higher than the Imperial Jade. However, he was still a little unwilling because this piece of jade could definitely be sold for a higher price. Unfortunately, he was in a hurry to use the money and did not have the time to wait for those who knew their stuff to buy it. Just as he was about to give in, an old but loud voice sounded. 60 million. If you're not satisfied, I can add more. In short, I'm definitely taking this jade home today. Villain, with God-tier choices, I suppressed the protagonist. Chapter 38. Stop while you're ahead. Hearing such a high price, everyone looked in the direction of the voice. An old man in a silver-white tang suit was walking towards Luo Chen. It's old Master Shu. Someone could not help but exclaim when they recognized this old man. The old man's name was Shu Yuan. He was in his sixties, but his eyes were still extremely sharp. He was one of the most famous collectors in Jiang City and even the entire North region. At the same time, the Xu family was the only family in Jiang City that could compete with the Luo family. Xu Yuan and Luo Junhua had known each other for a long time and were both enemies and friends for many years. However, in recent years, they had reached a consensus not to offend each other and each managed their own matters peacefully. Hello, Master Xu. Come, please. All the people in the jade business knew who Xu Yuan was so they all quickly made way. Now that Xu Yuan made himself clear, no one dared to bid higher. If one angered old Master Xu, they could forget about receiving even half a piece of jade for the rest of their life. Xu Yuan's prestige in the collection world was that great. After Xu Yuan walked over, he carefully sized up the imperial jade. Not bad. It's indeed a rare treasure. Halfway through his sentence, Xu Yuan was about to negotiate with Luo Chen when he became stunned. Young man. Why do you look so familiar? Have we met before? Looking at Luo Chen, Xu Yuan was reminded of that old man who was always against him. Luo Chen knew the Xu family emphasized on respect so he minded his attitude and said, I'm Luo Junhua's grandson, Luo Chen. I might have seen you at a banquet before. Whoosh! As soon as these words were spoken, the surrounding people were shocked again. He did not expect this young man to be Luo Chen. At this moment, Hu Cheng also understood why Luo Chen paid so readily. It turned out that he was from the Luo family. Hu Cheng was extremely honored when he thought of the two big shots patronizing his stall. No wonder. So it's that old fellow's grandson. You look exactly the same as the young him. Xu Yuan came to a realization. Then, he changed the topic. Why? Is the Luo family also interested in Jade? Did they send you to test the water? 
the Shu family was in charge of jade and antiques. Now that he suddenly saw someone from the Luo family, Xu Yuan could not help but speculate. Luo Chen explained, No, it's my grandfather's birthday in a few days and the jade on the market is too ordinary. Therefore, I wanted to choose some good jade to give to the old man. As for the jade business, you don't have to worry. Previously, my grandfather said not to touch it, so we will naturally stay out of it. Xu Yuan nodded. You're both loyal and filial? Not bad. He had also heard about Luo Chen's investment in Amazon. Coupled with his filial piety and loyalty today, he was very satisfied with the young man in front of him. Thinking of the grandsons of the Xu family who only knew how to fool around, Xu Yuan was furious. How good would it be if Luo Chen was my grandson? Since you're old Luo's grandson, I can't let you suffer a loss. How about adding another 10 million and selling the jade to me for 70 million? Other than giving Luo Junhua face, it was also because Xu Yuan admired Luo Chen that he raised the price again. The surrounding people who were buying jade were stunned when they heard this price. Even if it was them, they would probably not be able to sell it for this price. But that was only them. Since Xu Yuan dared to offer this price, he naturally would not be worried about selling it. As long as he placed the jade on the international market and hyped it up a little, with the quality of the jade, it could easily be sold for more than 70 million. At this moment, Zhao Rua Swang felt like she was dreaming. 70 million. After deducting the cost, they would earn a net profit of 68 million. The company's income last quarter was only at this level. In comparison, they had bought the jade just an hour ago. Fuck. I really shouldn't have come to this place. Yi Bei gritted his teeth and cursed softly. He regretted bringing Luo Chen to such a place. Luo Chen smiled and said, You're too polite. This jade shall still be sold at 60 million yuan. No matter how much I earn, as a junior, I should show my respect to senior. Knowing that the two families did not have a good relationship, Luo Chen naturally would not give up the opportunity to befriend them for a mere 10 million. If he could obtain the Xu family's help in the future, he would be able to deal with the protagonists even more easily. Not bad, you're generous enough. You're definitely built for great things. Seeing Luo Chen's performance, Xu Yuan was even more satisfied. At the same time, he knew that Luo Chen wanted to ease the relationship between the two families and thus, it would not be good if he raised the price. Therefore, after Xu Yuan asked for Luo Chen's account number, he immediately asked someone to transfer 60 million yuan over. Kid, you can look for me to have some tea in the future. If you need anything, you have to look for me. I admire you very much. After transferring the money, Xu Yuan patted Luo Chen's shoulder. Luo Chen smiled and said, All right, I'll definitely visit you when I have time. At this moment, Luo Chen's capital had increased but he still had seven good luck charms in his hand. He should continue to buy. He turned to look at Zhao Ruo Swang and said, Ruo Swang, it's all thanks to you that we got to earn money this time. To express our gratitude, do you have anything you want to buy? He he. I have to thank you for trusting me so much. There's no need to buy me anything. Just treat me to a meal when you have time. Hearing Luo Chen say this, Zhao Ruo Swang was very happy. Luo Chen's trust made her feel as comfortable as a child. After the money arrived, Yi Bei looked listless. It was a total of 60 million yuan. He felt completely numb. Yi Bei had never expected Luo Chen to be so lucky. Just a random piece of raw material could produce a piece of imperial jade. Yi Bei, it's all thanks to you this time. If you hadn't supported me back then, I might not have come. Seeing that Yi Bei was in a bad mood, Luo Chen decisively stabbed him again. You want to trick me? Then I'll anger you all to death. No. There's no need to thank me, boss. This is what I should do. After Yi Bei finished speaking, he revealed a smile that was uglier than crying. Endure. One day, he would make Luo Chen pay a thousand times over. Zhao Ruo Swan persuaded, Luo Chen, we've already profited this time. Why don't we leave it at that? She was worried that if she used up all her luck, there would not be any more valuable jade for them later. Seeing this, Yi Bei hurriedly said, Don't, boss. Our luck is good now. We should continue to earn money. 
After all, this amount isn't enough for the Bitcoin investment. You want to leave after earning money? It's not that easy. I must make you lose money today. At this moment, Chu Yuan said, Luo Chen, Ross Stone's gambling is a business that emphasizes quitting while you're ahead. If you want to play, you can come again next time. Xu Yuan really admired Luo Chen. Otherwise, he would not have told him these things. When Yibei saw this, he cursed in his heart. Damn old man. How of King Nozi? After dealing with the Luo family, I'll dig up your ancestral grave first. Under normal circumstances, Luo Chen would definitely not continue. However, he still had seven good luck charms in his hand. He had yet to finish earning the money, so why was he in a hurry to leave? Thank you for your advice. I won't go overboard. I'll buy just one more piece before going home. Villain, with God-tier choices, I suppress the protagonist. Chapter 39 10 Million Range Hearing Luo Chen's words, Xu Yuan nodded. Then do you need me to help you take a look? There's no need. This trip was Yi Bei's idea so he can choose the last stone. After saying that, Luo Chen looked at Yi Bei. Me? I don't know anything about these things. Yi Bei pointed at himself, feeling a little conflicted. He could pick the worst stone in the market for him, but he was afraid that after causing him to lose money, Luo Chen would distance himself from him. Then, he might not be able to follow him around in the future. Luo Chen said very casually, it's fine. We are just here for a stroll to relax. It doesn't matter if you lose money or not. Previously, he had pasted three good luck charms on Zhao Ruwa Swang. The two million yuan directly increased by thirty times. Since he still had seven good luck charms in his hand, Luo Chen planned to stick them all on Yi Bei. Therefore, Luo Chen wasn't afraid of Yi Bei choosing expensive and dilapidated raw stones at all. In any case, he just had to wait to earn money. This. Thank you, boss. On the surface, Yi Bei looked troubled, but in fact, he was overjoyed. Since Luo Chen had already spoken, he could choose freely. Fuck, I'll make you lose money this time. Luo Chen patted Yi Bei's shoulder. You're welcome. Hurry up and pick. As he spoke, Luo Chen unknowingly stuck all seven talismans on Yi Bei's body. Yi Bei glanced at the raw stone stall. In the end, he chose a raw boulder that was as tall as a person. This raw boulder was riddled with potholes. It was much uglier than the one Zhao Ruo Swang had picked previously. According to Yi Bei's experience, this kind of raw stone was usually very expensive, but it didn't produce good jade. At this thought, he pointed at the raw stone and said, I want this. Huh? When Hu Cheng saw the raw stone, he was stunned. He advised, brother, why don't you change to another one? This raw stone was pawned to me by a Burmese guy who didn't have money back then. Moreover, other than being big, this raw stone doesn't have any other advantages. No one has bought it all these years so why not look at something else? According to the rules, Hu Cheng could not say this. But he did it to give Luo Chen and Xu Yuan face. Yi Bei snorted coldly in his heart. Could it be that he could not tell that this was a junk stone? If it was good, he would not want it. Yi Bei said, I don't know anything about this. The other stones aren't pleasing to the eye, but I like this. Just tell me how much it costs. Well, if you insist on buying it, you can have it for 10 million. This was not because Hu Cheng was asking for too much. Instead, it was because a raw stone this huge was indeed worth this amount. 10 million? To buy such a lousy thing? It has nothing to do with boss Hu. Such a huge raw stone is indeed worth this amount. This kid is really blind. He actually picked the most obvious piece of junk stone. The surrounding onlookers discussed when they heard the price. Zhao Ruo Swang also advised from the side, Luo Chen, why don't we change to another stone? This stone costs 10 million. If there's nothing inside, we'll lose out. Even Xu Yuan advised, Luo Chen, I advise you not to buy this raw stone. The surface of this raw stone is too rough. It's obvious that it's been on the surface of the ground all year round and raw stones on the surface usually don't have anything good. Although you're rich, you can't spend it like this. Think about it carefully. For Xu Yuan to say so much, it meant that he really treated Luo Chen as his junior. 
Hu Cheng was not unhappy to see everyone dissuading him. This was because he had also heard rumors about Luo Chen. It was fine if he made money just now, but if he lost 10 million yuan, wouldn't a group of people rush out the next day and smash his raw stone stall? Facing everyone's dissuasion, Luo Chen did not know what to say. This was because this matter was guaranteed to be profitable, but he could not be too insistent. Otherwise, someone would definitely find it strange. At this moment, Yi Bei was so angry that he was about to smoke. How could someone stop him from losing 10 million yuan of Luo Chen's money? It would be a waste of opportunity. At this moment, Luo Chen asked Yi Bei, Yi Bei, what do you think of this raw stone? Of course it's good. President Luo, look at this raw stone. Its head and neck are as thick as a human's. There must be something good inside. Such a huge piece of jade can be sold for hundreds of millions. Upon hearing this question, Yi Bei hurriedly tried to persuade him. He simply couldn't miss this opportunity. The other raw stones were too small and probably not very expensive. There was no point in incurring small losses. Since you're so confident in this raw stone, I shall give it a try. Luo Chen was very satisfied with Yi Bei's answer. He could use this opportunity to obtain this raw stone. He would earn 70 times the original capital of 10 million yuan. At that time, it would be much easier to mine Bitcoin with this sum. Whoa, this young master Luo is really not short of money. He's even willing to spend 10 million. What's the use of being willing to spend? If he buys a piece of trash stone, he won't even be able to find a place to throw it away. This bodyguard is also a stupid donkey with a one-track mind. I cannot believe he still wants to buy this raw stone. I wanted to laugh when I heard him say that this lousy stone is worth hundreds of millions. One hundred million is enough for him to work for a hundred lifetimes. Seeing that Yi Bei was determined to buy the raw stone, the surrounding people mocked him. Hearing everyone's words, Zhao Ruos Wang frowned and said, Luo Chen, let's forget it. It's better to keep this sum for investment than to buy raw stones. Yi Bei was afraid that Luo Chen would go back on his word, so he hurriedly added, President Luo, don't hesitate. In any case, we don't lack this 10 million. Besides, so many people are saying that this raw stone isn't good. If we don't buy it, I don't think the boss will be able to sell it in the future. Brother, don't say that. I'd rather keep this raw stone for the rest of my life. If young master Luo doesn't want to buy it, I definitely won't sell it by force. When Hu Cheng heard Yi Bei's words, he hurriedly retorted. If he bought it reluctantly, wouldn't Luo Chen skin him when he lost money? All right, there's no need to dissuade me anymore. Since Yi Bei thinks this raw stone is good, cut it. Luo Chen did not want to waste time and directly decided. With that, he walked over and paid. Well, the surrounding people did not know what to say. This Luo Chen was really as extravagant as the rumors said. Hu Cheng was also very hesitant. He was worried that something would happen after this. Yi Bei was extremely anxious at this moment. He walked over and moved the raw boulder. Help me out. What are you waiting for? The money's already paid. Yi Bei shouted at Mao, who was beside him, as he found it a little difficult to carry it by himself. Mao was usually a little silly, so he did not think too much about it when he heard the request. The two of them worked together to place this huge rock on the cutting machine. The news that Luo Chen had spent 10 million yuan on a raw stone quickly spread throughout the entire antique center. For a moment, the jade area was completely filled with people. They all wanted to see what 10 million yuan could buy. Hu Cheng asked with a bitter expression, Young Master Luo, are you really going to open it? I can refund the money. Villain, with God-tier choices, I suppress the protagonist. Chapter 40 Let the bullets fly for a while. Cut it. Luo Chen said indifferently. All right, Demao, cut. Seeing the other party's insistence, Hu Cheng could only do as he was told. When Demao heard this, he used all his strength to push the raw stone. Buzz. The noise came, and the scene inside was revealed. When the saber slashed down, there was nothing. It still looked like a raw stone. That's great. Yi Bei was extremely happy to see this scene. This was the effect he wanted. If there was nothing in the raw stone, it would be troublesome even for waste collectors to throw it away. Look. 
there's indeed nothing in this lousy rock. I came over to broaden my horizons but you are only going to show me how to cut stones? All right. He's definitely going to lose money this time. Usually, if we don't get anything with the first cut, it means that the stone is empty. It's all right. After all, they'd earned 60 million just now. This loss is still acceptable. If not for the fact that the person buying the raw stone was Luo Chen, the surrounding people would have long cursed. How brainless would he be to spend 10 million yuan to buy this thing? When Zhao Ruo Suang saw this scene, she sighed. She had told him not to buy this stone. Xu Yuan frowned secretly. Luo Chen was good at everything, but spending money like water was a problem. Hu Cheng carefully looked at Luo Chen's expression, afraid that he would be dissatisfied. Luo Chen, on the other hand, did not care. He was looking forward to it. Cut more. He wanted to see what kind of jade was hiding inside. Demel. Cut. Hu Cheng could only do as he was told. Buzz. There was still no change in the interior of the raw stone. No matter how one looked at it, it was an ordinary stone. I'm pretty sure there's nothing now. Seeing that there was still no green after the second cut, Yi Bei revealed a smug expression. This is not interesting at all. It's the same result no matter how many times they cut it. It's impossible for it to have jade. This is clearly just a rock. Even spending 10 million yuan to skip stones is more satisfying to watch than this. It's really uncomfortable to see nothing with each cut. Uncomfortable my ass. You're not the one who paid. After the second cut, the surrounding people shook their heads repeatedly. Zhao Ruo Suang said from the side, Let's go, Luo Chen. My heart is bleeding from each cut. With every cut, it was as if she had thrown a million yuan away. Luo Chen smiled and said, What's the hurry? Let the bullets fly a little longer and continue cutting. He did not believe that there would be a problem with the system. The surprise was definitely yet to come. As expected, after another cut, jade finally appeared in the raw stone. However, the color of this jade was very light. One could only vaguely see some green color. The entire thing looked more like ice. Eh? What's this? Why is it transparent? You've never heard of white jade. Fuck. Could this be an ice-type jade? What kind of luck is this? It was imperial jade just now, and now there's an ice-type jade. Other than the onlookers, there were also many people who knew the ropes. These people were all shocked by Luo Chen's luck. Ice-type jade was usually carved for trinkets and used for decoration. It was equally expensive. Xu Yuan raised his eyebrows slightly. Luo Chen, you're really lucky. You can even open an ice seed. Unfortunately, the area of this jade is too small. It can only be sold for more than a million. At this moment, there was only a piece of jade in the middle of the raw stone while the rest was still stone. There's no hurry. We should take a closer look. Luo Chen was calm and composed. Everything was within his expectations. Fuck, no more jade please. When Yi Bei saw this scene, he stomped his feet anxiously. He kept comforting himself that this jade had only appeared after being cut three times so there was definitely nothing else left in it. Because there was little material, no matter how precious it was, it could not be sold for so much money. He hoped that after the next cut, it would still be stone. It was fine even if he lost just 8 million yuan. Buzz. With another cut, the area of the ice type jade began to increase. PFFT. Yi Bei felt like vomiting blood. He had already chosen the worst raw stone, but there was still high grade jade. Such a huge piece of ice type jade can be sold for at least 10 million. Little brother, are you going to sell this ice type jade? I'll pay 12 million. I didn't get the imperial jade just now so I can't miss this ice jade. The group of jewelers and collectors were again tempted by the ice type jade. On the other hand, Xu Yuan did not feel much. After all, he had just received a piece of imperial jade. Luo Chen was still not satisfied with this. Continue cutting. According to the system, this was nothing. Hu Cheng persuaded, young master Luo, why don't we do this? If we continue cutting, it will affect the appearance of the jade. If there's nothing behind, you'll earn two million less. Cut, stop only when I say so. 
Luo Chen was a little impatient. All right. De Mao, continue. If young master Luo doesn't say stop, keep cutting. When Hu Cheng heard this, he hurriedly instructed. De Mao continued to push the raw stone. With another cut, the area of the raw stone shrank, leaving only a piece in the middle. Seeing this, Yi Bei heaved a sigh of relief. Although he did not make Luo Chen lose money this time, it was fine as long as he did not make a profit. As Luo Chen did not request to stop, De Mao continued to repeat his actions. The area of the jade then became larger. At the same time, the jade in the center was shaped like a peach, and the rest of the area looked like a human body. Eh? Why does this jade look like a human? Are you seeing things? How can jade look like a human? I think it's like a person holding a peach. Just as everyone was discussing what it looked like, De Mao pushed the raw stone again. The shape of the jade gradually became clearer. The jade was in the shape of a hundred-year-old man holding an immortal peach. The old man's figure seemed to have been carved. There were even wrinkles on his face, making him look lifelike. Fuck. It's actually an ice-type jade with its own shape. I'm so lucky. I didn't expect to see such a treasure in my lifetime. Although I've seen jade with carvings on the internet in the past, the shape and details are far inferior to the one in front of me. This is simply divine workmanship. This old man gives people the feeling that he's alive. Unfortunately, we can only take a look. It's impossible to have it. This jade is definitely priceless. When everyone saw the shape of the jade, they praised it. This jade might not be the largest in size, but its quality and rarity were definitely top-notch. Just based on these two points, it was definitely not too much to say that it was priceless. Even Chu Yuan's pupils dilated when he saw this jade. I didn't expect myself to be lucky enough to see such a precious jade in this lifetime. Previously, Chu Yuan had seen countless high-end jade stones. However, no matter which one it was, it could not compare to the naturally carved ice-type jade in front of him. When Luo Chen heard Xu Yuan's words, he stopped the cutting. There's no need to cut it anymore. Just let it stay this way. If even Xu Yuan could give an evaluation like this, this jade was probably at the most valuable state now. As for Yi Bei, his face darkened. Fuck. What sin did I commit in my previous life? I actually picked a naturally shaped ice-type jade for my enemy.